Welcome back to another episode of Fishing Florida. Today I'm fishing with Jack, and goal for today is to get a bunch of big fish. I'm using a big swim bait. I'm just gonna throw this around and hopefully we'll get some big fish. Let's get to it. Nice. All right, competition. Biggest fish wins. Huh? Biggest fish wins. Oh, yeah. Ready? Fish cast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just got one. All right, guys. First fish of the day. All right, guys. First bass of the day. Pretty tiny. Um, me and Jack are doing a biggest fish wins competition. This is gonna last all of two seconds. Watch Jack get a three pounder right now. No, I doubt it. <laughs> oh, as I said. Oh. Oh, mine's oh. still. Oh, okay, there he goes. All right, see you, <laughs> bud. <laughs> Got one. I'm just kidding. I saw your bait. I know. I should have done it sooner. And then you would have been like, dang it. You got one? Oh, I think you took the lead. All right, guys, I think I took the lead with this fish. Dude, that's actually a decent one. And he's off. Right, yeah, so let me see. Let me back. I don't know if that's bigger than mine. I think it is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, we're going to get bigger than that today. All right, we're good. All right, guys, I'm going to say Jack is in the lead right now. But we'll probably get much bigger ones. I'll reel in more when I catch that. There's less line out. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Wait, wait, I got it. I got it. I hate when you take my fish. That's the most annoying thing. I know. I'm just saying. You always do that. Got him. We doubled. Oh, dude, I got a decent one. Oh, dude, that is a good one. I got that on camera. That's a sick jump. Ha ha, bro, that's a solid yeah. one. All right, should we actually weigh it in case it comes no, pretty close? No, no, like in case you get one that's pretty close. Yeah. All right, I'll Not weigh it real quick. All right, guys, I'm gonna weigh this fish just in case it ends up being close at the end. So you're the scale out, go like this. All right, it is 2.05. Yeah, decent fish. Second bass of the day for me. Look how fat this thing is. Two pounder. Let's get a release. See you, bud. And there he goes. This water clarity looks a lot better than last That's time. That's insane. Oh my god. You had a big bite? That's crazy. How big was it? Nice. That was Oh, that's a good one. Dude, that's a good one. I think you had me beat. Oh, yep. Yeah, you had me beat by like 0.1. Wait. Nope. 2.25. 2.25, guys. All right, Jack takes the lead take with 2.25. Nice. Yeah, it is a really nice fish. Right Solid. Here. Dude, you said it was small. Yeah, I know. I thought it was really, way smaller than what it actually is. But, pretty cool. Say, guys, let's get some more. You got As one? I said that. As I said that. No way. This is definitely the second smallest fish of the day. <laughs> this is definitely the second smallest fish of the day. <laughs> I don't even know why fish like this even eat. <laughs> like seriously guys, like, really? That's a stud. Not really. At least you're catching fish. I know. Oh. Oh, oh. On the pipe. Dude, I think that's a good one. What? The pipe, the pipe is huge. Oh, it's a decent one. Dude, really, right I think it I was... Right my fish, he caught a fish. Yeah, it's almost a double one. That's a nice one though. Yeah, that's a decent one. Not a two pounder. Definitely not. <laughs> See you, bud. Like I'm still. Guys, made it to the next spot. Still using a swim bait. I switch, I switch up colors. I'm now using a white swim bait. And hopefully, we'll still get some fish on this. Okay, yeah, perfect. Bro, I think my drag just broke on my reel. <laughs> really? Look, my drag's locked down. I don't think it broke. What'd you do? I don't know. I just noticed like I was trying to reel and nothing would happen. 
and it was because my drag was like going. When I set the hook, I have to like put my line, or I have to put my finger on the line to stop it, so the drag doesn't go. What did you? S my drag again, dude. My drag. I forgot to put my finger on. Yeah, the drag is locked and I'm pulling it like nothing. Yeah, and right when we were leaving the first spot, I noticed it. I just had a bite. You have one? Oh, yeah. Nice. Got another one, guys. Yes. Dude, I remembered. I remembered to. It just got off. Perfect. Guys, I remembered to hold my thumb on the thing while I set the hook. Dude, once I set the hook, though, like, I can't keep pressure. Because I can't reel can't well. Reel keep your thumb I know. Guys, this is going to be a challenge. New challenge. Fishing with a broken reel. God, dude, that's a good one. I think. Maybe. I can't tell. Just as I was unhooking this nice fish, Darson just Nope, it. it's not a good one. But his reel's like broken. Yeah, dude. It's I feel like the... Reeling. Dude, I feel the drag going while I'm reeling it in, and I'm trying to stop... I'm trying to stop the drag from going. Yeah. Guys, we just doubled up. Yeah. That's actually oh, oh. oh god. Look at that. <laughs> well, let's release him. Alright. That would be a good one if he was fat. Yeah. Let's see bud. Yeah. No. Mine got stuck on my glove. This is a mess. Got one. Double up again. Second time it happened, as soon as I was oh, oh my video, gosh. I hooked my fish, Darson catches another one. Is there what, second or third double up of the day? Yeah. Dude, mine's actually a decent one too. Yeah. Sweet. Not bad. Alright. Oh. Hold you. That was out deeper though. I cast it like in the middle, I think. I have no idea where I cast it. Oh, I got him right in the tongue. There we go, guys. I got the hook out. Little bass. Alright, guys. Jack's been getting a ton of bites with a um. Alright, guys. Jack's been getting a ton of bites with a crankbait, and then oh, there's a fish. I just switched to rattle trap, and that was my first cast. But yeah, I wasn't getting as many bites with a swim bait, and Jack was crushing it with a crankbait. Guys, I feel like it's gonna be a much better day now. That swim bait was just not working out. I'm missing, I'm missing like 70% of the bites I get. Dude, that's a good one, I think. That's a good one. Dude, that's a good one. Dude, that's a giant. Oh my God. Let's go. Dude, that's, that's a six pounder. That's a six. Yeah, that's a five. That's a five. That's a five. Dude. Wow, look, look at the, guys, look at the way he ate the freaking Did you see how big it looked yeah, when it jumped? It I massive. thought it was like an eight pounder when it jumped. Oh my God. Guys, that's a good fish. We were, we were just asking, let's get a good one. That's awesome. Yeah. It's more like a four. No, I think it's a five because it's super fat. Yeah, it is pretty fat. Solid one, guys. Yeah. Let's get a weight. I think I won the big bass. Yeah, <laughs> so far. Oh, so far. That crap. You might get like an eight pounder though. Who knows? No, I doubt it. Dude, I, I that's the one fish on the rattle trap I remembered to put my finger on when I set. Guys, this is such a challenge. My reel is literally broken. It has no drag. Like I can, dr I can cast without pressing the button. Almost. Guys, let's get a weight on this. 
Damn, four seven. It's a nice fish. All right, guys, just got this awesome bass. That's a stub. Look how fat this thing is. That's a nice fish. Nice. That was a piece of grass in his mouth. Did you see that? <laughs> no. All right, guys, just got this fish on this rattle trap. It looks so sick. This looks like a really nice rattle trap, but it is a bluegill pattern rattle trap, and I think the main forage in here is bluegill. So that might be why I'm getting a lot more bites now. There's a fish. Nah, it's okay. It's like a two, I think. Oh, it's like a one. Never mind. All right, another bass, guys. About a one pounder, maybe. Thought it was bigger. They always look so big when they jump. See, bud. Bro, Jack. You were so right when you said today's not my day. I need to show you what just happened. All right, so not only is my reel broken and it's really hard to set the hook, but my front hook just fell off. And now my rattle trap is off balance and the fish is gonna have to eat the whole thing in order for me to set the hook on it. Dude, it's not swimming right now though. Like it's off balance. What is it doing? It's going sideways. It's like tilted like that. It's weird. Got one. Yes. I don't know. Oh, I think it's a... Oh, it's a... It, I have no idea what this is. Oh, it's a bass. Dude, it looks so much like a snakehead. That was weird. All right, guys, another decent bass on the rattle trap. I only have the back hook of my rattle trap. And my real... My drag system on my reel doesn't work. This is crazy. But another bass. This guy was shaking a lot like a snakehead. I thought it was a snakehead at first. See you, bud. Guys, this is how much better than Jack I am. I'm oh, using a broken oh. reel, a broken rattle trap. <laughs> hey, my crankbait's effective, that's why I missed. <laughs> oh my gosh. You see me speak that? Are you joking? <laughs> that was so cool. I spooked it and then it came back. On the broken rattle trap. In the broken reel. Dude, I didn't even have to think about it. I just put my finger on the reel when I set. Yeah, I got used to it. All right, another bass. See you. I like how they always get stuck to my glove. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I ended up winning with a 4.7 pound bass. The whole time I was using this broken, or after I caught that four pounder, I was using this broken rattle trap, and my reel's been broken the whole time. This has been a struggle. <laughs> it has been. Yeah. But that's going to do it for the video. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll catch you next time on the next episode of Fishing Fish.